Hi everyone, my name is Chef John Chua from the San Miguel Pure Foods Culinary Center. Our recipe for today is chicken samosas using Magnolia Chicken Station breast filet. Okay, let's start. So the first thing that we need to do is to make the crust. I have here in a bowl some all-purpose flour, some cumin that is in ground, salt, some softened margarine. Now using a dough cutter, I'm going to gently mix everything and we'll add in our warm water. So we'll mix everything together until we form a nice ball shape kind of dough and we'll transfer it in our marble table thus with a little bit of flour put our dough here so we can knead it properly so lightly knead it avoid over kneading the dough as it will toughen so we want it as soft as this one so just flatten it and we'll wrap it with cling wrap All right, so we'll let our dough rest for 30 to 45 minutes at least in the ref, or it's better to let your dough rest for at least an hour. Okay, now while we're resting our dough in the ref, we can now make our filling for the samosas. So in a pan, we'll melt some butter, and then we'll saute our onions, our garlic, some ginger, then our frozen mixed veggies, which you can buy in the supermarkets. Some diced potatoes. So just saute until the potatoes are slightly tender. Then now we can add our Magnolia Chicken Station Chicken Breast Filet. That has been chopped and cubed. By the way, the Magnolia Chicken Station Breast Filet has already been parboiled. So it has been cooked already in just a little amount of water. So now we can add our curry powder, chili powder, just a little bit of water, our seasoning, salt, sugar, and fresh cilantro leaves or one soy. In other countries, especially in India, which this dish derives from, one soy or cilantro, they call it coriander. So just mix this carefully until done. Don't have to overcook this one as the chicken's already been parboiled. And we're done. So we'll turn this off. And we need to cool the filling as well in the ref until fully cooled together with our crust. So I'll see you guys back later so we can form and assemble our samosas. Okay, so our dough has been rested from the ref already. So take it out from the clean wrap. So we need to dust the table with flour to prevent the dough from sticking. And with a rolling pin, also dust the rolling pin with flour gently flatten the dough. It's natural for the dough to be quite tough since it just came out from the ref. So dust again. So we need to flatten this out until very, very thin. Okay, now I already have here a flattened dough. So it's been nicely done and flattened. So we need to cut squares for our samosas. So just remove the excess on the sides but don't throw it because we can still use it to make some more samosa later on and I'll show you here how it's going to be done so now we have here the cooled filling which was done earlier on I have here a small ice cream scooper so basically we'll just need just one scoop of the filling and place it on the middle combine all the sides together and using your fingers just press the sides to form four corners. Again, this one, we need to freeze this at least one or two hours before we fry them. Okay, so we're ready to fry our chicken samosas. I have here a very, very hot pan with oil in it. Our samosas is rock hard. Okay, just came out from the freezer. So deep fried our chicken samosas in batches. So we'll first fry two pieces. So it's not going to be overcrowded. And we're going to fry all of these until golden brown and crispy. And then we'll assemble later. Okay, so here's our chicken samosas. Now we can just garnish it with a little bit of cilantro leaves on top. Or one soy or coriander leaves. And that's it. Now for inquiries, call 632-2449 or visit www.magnoliachicken.com. 
can also visit any Magnolia Chicken Station in over 350 outlets in supermarkets and Monterey Meat Shops nationwide. Magnolia Chicken Station, your healthy variety, mas maraming pwede. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Till next time.